Hi, this is Erica Del Signore, and I am the founder of the Daily Lead Campaign. And this is your weekly money-making mindset and marketing tip. And this week I am talking about something that I love, disc assessments. When I used to own a recruiting company, I used to do a disc assessment for all of my new candidates. And I would send those along when I was submitting them to some of my clients for consideration. And what was great about it is that it really broke down four separate personality types and these are things uh, information that you can use when you are going into a sales appointment or when you are working with people in general um, looking at what type of personality type you're working with and really use your personality to get the most out of them and there's nothing wrong with that so the first personality assessment um, that I'd like to talk about is uh, the first part of it is the D in DISC assessment. Now, the D stands for dominant. So typically, if you are going into a selling situation, this is one of the main people you'll run into because the dominants are usually running the show. And they can appear arrogant at times, but um, that is because they have so many skills and they are very confident and sometimes the two get mixed up. I have met so many D's that I really love and have very personable personalities, but you have to realize when you're in there at an appointment, um, you need to get right to the point. Uh, there's no talking about the weather here. Uh, they just want facts, details, how this is going to help them as quickly as possible and they usually want you to do it their way. So just be ready for that. And if you need to work around that, make sure that you're doing a lot of listening and that you're speaking to them respectfully and that you make it their idea. <laughs> um, so that's the best way to handle the dominant personality. The second personality type is uh, the I for influencer which is what I am. I'm a wannabe D though, so don't feel bad if I said anything bad about the Ds earlier. Uh, the I's are happy-go-lucky, they talk too much usually, and here I am admitting all this to you now, but uh, they don't like conflict, so they need a lot of approval, you need to pet them constantly, not that I need that, but um, this is what it's typically like. So if you're working with someone who is an I, they might also be in charge. Um, you're gonna need to keep them on point, don't let them go on a bunch of tangents, and uh, you know I've got a, a script here, so don't worry, I'm not gonna go on too many tangents. And uh, you know, to get the most out of them, you have to make them feel very comfortable, like they, they like to be liked, and um, make sure that you, you're you working with them and, and assuring them that this is going to help them. And that's how that works. Now the next one is an S. Now an S stands for steady relator, and we need them because they are very calm, cool, and collected individuals. Uh, typically you find them in support roles, so in the workplace, they might be in the administrative role, they might be a sales assistant, they might be something to that degree. Out in the, the real world, they might be um, in daycare, they might be in medical, uh, they might be helping people learn how to walk again. You know, whatever it is, they really want to help people and they can keep a very calm facade about them. But um, if you continually upset them, they will blow up at you one day. So be careful of that. And just make sure that when you are working with someone who's a steady relator, that you are making them feel comfortable and that everybody's okay and uh, that everybody's feelings are being taken into consideration and no set of moves. <laughs> so that is the steady relator. Now the last one is the compliant. I happen to have most of my best friends are compliances. That's the C, personality. Uh, I'm married to a compliant. And uh, typically, those are your lawyers, doctors, accountants, people that love details. They love to uh, follow rules, and they don't like to break the rules at all. And I can give you a million examples of that with my husband. I'm sure he would appreciate it if I didn't. So <laughs> um, moving on with them, you're going to need to give them a lot of information. They have a lot of questions. They don't love change. So in order for them to make a change, you're going to have to be patient and make sure that they have plenty of time to consider all the facts before they are able to put something new into place. 
and you know, I'm, it's nothing personal. My camera person's laughing at me right now. Uh, so, I mean, she's she's an S. <laughs> okay, so just keeping all this into consideration, you know, they are going to be slow to decide, and you're going to have to be patient. And so, those are the four major personality types. In the next video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how you can figure out who they are just by looking at body language, looking at your surroundings, and figuring out um, you know, what are the clues. Uh, and, and a lot of it is in the personality that I just told you about, but then there are other external clues that will help you out as well. So I will look forward to seeing you in next week's video tip. And this is Erica Del Signore, founder of Daily Lead Campaign, and you are listening to your weekly money-making mindset and marketing tip. I will see you soon.